QuickBooks, Accounts Receivable and Accounts Payable on a Cash Basis Balance Sheet Report. This is Shelley Robbins, founder of the QuickSource. Having accounts receivable and accounts payable on a cash basis balance sheet in QuickBooks is one of the top QuickBooks problems. That's because when QuickBooks makes the conversion from accrual to cash basis, balances in accounts receivable and accounts payable stay on the balance sheet if they are number one, open as of the report date, and two, posted to another balance sheet account. To find out which transactions are open in accounts receivable, double click on accounts receivable to open the transactions by account report. Next, click on the modify report button at the top left. Now you're going to make three modifications to this report. First, remove the dates in the from field. Next, click on the advanced button at the bottom right and change the open balance aging to report date and click OK. And last, click on the Filters tab and choose the filter Paid Status. Change the Paid Status from Either to Open and click OK. Now the report shows only the transactions that make up the balance in accounts receivable on cash basis. Here we see a number of payments as well as two invoices. The payments are in the balance sheet accounts of checking and undeposited funds. They have not been applied to invoices, so QuickBooks has not converted them to income on cash basis. Instead, the unapplied payments stay here on the balance sheet as credits in accounts receivable. Now let's look at the first invoice. It's for the sale of inventory items. Since the invoice has not been paid, QuickBooks has not converted the cost of goods sold on cash basis. Instead, the inventory value on the unpaid invoice stays here on the balance sheet as a debit in accounts receivable. The second invoice is for retainage, which is another balance sheet account. Any transaction in accounts receivable that is 1. open as of the report date and 2. posted to a balance sheet account will appear on a cash basis balance sheet in QuickBooks. Now that you know how to identify the balance in accounts receivable on cash basis, you can use the same technique to identify the balance in accounts payable on a cash basis. Zoom in on accounts payable on the cash basis balance sheet report and click on the modify report button. Make the three changes. Remove the dates from the from, click on the advanced button and set the report date and click on the filters to choose the paid status and set it for open and click OK. Now the report shows only the transactions that make up the balance in accounts payable on cash basis. Here we see two checks and two bills. The checks were both written from the checking account directly to accounts payable and since they have not been applied to bills, QuickBooks has not converted them to expenses on cash basis. Instead, the unapplied amount stays here on the balance sheet as a debit in accounts payable. The first bill is for inventory items and is posted to the inventory asset account, and the second bill is posted to another balance sheet account called truck loan. So, just like in accounts receivable, any transaction in accounts payable that is one open as of the report date and two, posted to a balance sheet account, will appear on a cash basis balance sheet in QuickBooks. Now you know how to identify the balance in accounts receivable and accounts payable on a cash basis balance sheet. A word of advice, adjusting accounts receivable and accounts payable in QuickBooks can be quite challenging. If you're using QuickBooks and you don't have a QuickBooks expert to work with you, then email me and I'll find you one in your area I've met hundreds of great QuickBooks bookkeepers and QuickBooks software experts from all across the country, and I will get you in touch with QuickBooks help near you.